Hi and welcome. Data encryption standard or data encryption algorithm uh, is an older encryption algorithm and it is basically a symmetric algorithm that is the same key is bo uh, used to encrypt and decrypt uh, the data encrypted with this data encryption algorithm. And it has got various uh, modes of operation and in this video I will discuss these modes of operations. So this data encryption algorithm was introduced by IBM in 1970s and it became standard in 1977 by a US government. And data encryption algorithm uh, is derived from Lucifer algorithm and now this data encryption algorithm uh, is absolutely and it got replaced uh, by triple dash and AES also uh, that is advanced encryption standard in 2001. Uh, now this data encryption algorithm uh, uses 64-bit key uh, in which 56 bits are actually used for encryption and just 8 uh, bits are used uh, for the correctness of the remaining 56 bits. And uh, it used to encrypt the 64-bit uh, uh, block size of data that is uh, at one time 64-bit of data is encrypted. Uh, using 56 bit uh, of key and it is based on Feastel uh, uh, network structure and it got 16 rounds of encryption that each data is encrypted uh, using 16, uh, 16 round of encryption. Now these are five uh, modes of operation of data encryption uh, uh, standard and these modes are uh, electronic code book that is ECB, then cipher block chaining, CBC, and cipher feedback mode, that is uh, CFB and output feedback mode, OFB and counter mode. Now there are actually uh, three parameters which differentiate between these five modes of operation and first parameter is uh, either uh, the this mode operates in block or uh, stream mode, that is the whole uh, 64 bit of block is encrypted or it is uh, stream encryption that is every bit is encrypted then is the initialization vector that is a random value uh, used at the uh, first uh, encryption of uh, data and uh, this uh, the purpose of this initialization vector is to uh, break the pattern uh, in the plain text that if the same plain text is used various time then the cipher type sh uh, would, uh, should be different so that enemy won't intercept uh, any similarities between uh, the same uh, portion of the plain text if the same plain text is being encrypted using different keys then is the uh, error propagation that any error uh, in the initial strategies of uh, this encryption process should not pro propagate so this uh, electronic book code book is actually the simplest form of uh, data encryption standard and it is a block uh, uh, mode and it uh, does not use any initialization vector or any kind of chaining so the, uh, therefore uh, no error is propagated but uh, there is a problem with this uh, electronic code book. It, uh, it is least secure because if the same plain text is encrypted various times, then enemy can generate a code book. And later on, enemy can use this code book uh, to perform crypt analysis and to break this uh, uh, DES. So it is actually used uh, to transmit short data for example uh, the keys and parameters uh, for other uh, modes of operations then coming over to the cipher block chaining or cbc mode so it is also a block uh, mode it encrypts block of that data that is 64 bit block block of data at a time uh, but it uses initialization vector and also the chaining it means that the previous encrypted cipher text is used uh, in uh, to encrypt the next uh, cipher text and therefore there is a ch chance that uh, error will propagate uh, in encryption because if uh, the initial uh, 
plain text is encrypted uh, or the cipher text is encrypted or there is an error then this error will propagate throughout uh, uh, but actually uh, by using this initialization vector the same plain text is encrypted in a unique manner so enemy won't be able to make any pattern out of the same plain text and uh, the initialization vector needs to be transmitted to the other party in order to decrypt the cipher text so either this uh, initialization vector is tucked uh, in plain form in front of uh, the cipher decks or uh, we use uh, the first mode which is simplest mode electronic code book to transmit this initialization vector uh, then uh, the third mode of operation is the cipher feedback mode and cipher feedback mode is very similar uh, to cipher blockchain or cbc mode but uh, this is a stream mode it means that every bit is encrypted instead of an entire block and uh, you can uh, think of it as a, a memory buffer once the memory buffer is full then uh, this entire memory buffer is encrypted and uh, therefore it is used to encrypt uh, the or to stream the data in real time so there is a chance that error will propagate in uh, which was the case in cbc mode now then uh, the fourth mode of operation is the output uh, feedback mode and uh, this output feedback mode is similar to the cfb or cipher feedback mode but actually error will not propagate this time because uh, the it uses uh, the uh, seed value before it is exo or with the uh, uh, with the key uh, with the plain text so instead of using the previous cipher text it uses uh, the key or the seed before it is uh, it becomes cipher text so error uh, then does not propagate and this seed value is obtained uh, by using the initialization vector and rest of the that is the first seed value and then the rest of the seed values are used uh, by using the previous seed value so in this case error uh, does not propagate then the fifth mode is the counter mode and uh, in this mode uh, actually instead of using the seed we use uh, an incremental counter so actually each in a encryption and decryption uh, step is per performed independently therefore uh, this mode is also good for parallel computing and also the error does not propagate in this case which was the case in OFB or output feedback mode but out output feedback mode was using uh, the seed value and in this case we are not using the seed value but we are using an incremental counter so uh, this was all from my side please stay connected to my channel for similar videos thank you